I'll put the kettle on, boy. For fuck's sake, boy. Oh, for fuck's sake, why are they in the fridge? Artemis, your tea's out. What the hell is he doing? Sleep again, which means I can get in the bathroom before he wakes up. Oh, for fuck's sake, Artemis! This is beyond the joke now. Hey, Artemis! Oh dear Lord! Oi! Uh, 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 what's, this, what's going on? Oh, I'm confused. You were asleep, and for some reason, you've made a nest out of slippers. Uh, hey, oh. I, I what? Look at yourself, boy. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. But, no, no, wait, no, I didn't make a nest, though. Bullshit. How else do you explain this? I was going for all the slippers we had, like trying to rotate for a few pairs so you could wear something different, and... I don't know, I, I must have... Must have fallen asleep, I guess. That's such a you thing to do. Oh, shut up! What the hell is the towel closet now full of slippers as well? I needed the space! We have so many now that they're branching off all over the house. Uh-huh. And how are you going to explain the slippers in the fridge? Wh wait, what? The red panda slippers? You put them in the fucking fridge? Oh, that's where they went! God, I was looking for them all fucking morning. How did you even... You know what? Doesn't matter. It's just you. Are you, are you ready to admit that perhaps we have too many now? But I mean, I, I can't admit to something that isn't true, can I? Oh, for the love of fuck, how could we ever need any more? I'm the only one that wears them, for fuck's sake. That's only because we can't find any big enough to fit my huge pawbs. Otherwise, I'd join you in the comfort. All right, all right, just calm the fuck down with it, all right? We've got other things to be spending money on, okay? And if I can find slippers big enough for you, I'll fucking get you some. Wait, 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 you will? Like, really? Honestly. Don't get your hopes up that much, though, right? I might. And finding them in your size is a big fucking it. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna be a hell of a big pair, though. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Are you uh, coming downstairs for your tea, or are you just gonna stay there? Ugh. Goddamn cold weather bullshit! Happens every goddamn year! Ooh. Hey, boy. So... What weird bullshit are we engaging in today? It's too cold for bullshit. It's like seven degrees. That's nothing, boy. It's not even raining. The fucking sun is out. Exactly. We're down to one digit. Where the fuck did the double digit weather go? It's November. This happens every year. Why are you always so shocked? I have bigger things going on in my life than the fucking weather, okay? Oh, really? Name one. Go ahead, I'll wait. I mean... Exactly. Stop bullshitting. Oh, for fuck's sake, just because you're somehow fine with this cold. I really don't understand how the dog covered in soft fur is somehow feeling the cold more than me, the so-called fleshy bastard. What am I, an expert in thermodynamics? I don't fucking know either. Collies are bred for the cold anyway. You'd all be out there in the fields herding and guarding regardless of what the weathers are like. You should be fine. Do I look like I've ever herded anything? Can you honestly picture me in a field trying to coerce sheep through a fucking gate? I can, and oh my god, we need to make that into a video sometime. Yeah, well, wait until summer's back and maybe we will. Have you tried just not being cold? I'm, I'm sorry, what the fuck was that that fell out of your mouth? Just stop being cold. Like, warm up. Oh, oh, just warm up, he says. Holy shit, it's a Christmas miracle. My lack of body heat has been completely cured by your Christ-like words of healing power. 
Have you, have you tried going to the cancer ward? I'm sure they could really use your amazing words down there. It's just a suggestion. Just stop being cold. And how would I do that exactly? Go, go on, enlighten me. Okay, well then, how would you go about not being cold? I mean, I'd do something to warm up. And what could that be? Uh, put, put on a jumper, drink more tea, and then maybe put the fire on. Right. And which of all of those have you done? Well, I, I don't own a jumper, but I, I have had tea. So, logic would dictate you might want to try... Buying a jumper? Put the fucking fire on! Oh shit, right, of course, yeah, um... Let's do that, where, where are the matches? Right, fuck, no, hang on, I forgot. You and fire don't mix, let me do it. Right, so are we, uh, wait for that to warm up a bit more? I'll get you some more tea. We'll see what we can do about your, uh, body heat. So, boy, are you warm enough now? This is the good shit. You are such a dog sometimes. Oh, so warm. Yeah. And here we have the elusive Salty Blue Collie. A rare breed often found mooching off of some unsuspecting, kind-hearted human. The Collie has spent years cultivating a bond with these humans, and now it's time for that bond to pay off. Oi, Alan, will you make me some tea? What's the magic word? Abracadabra. It's obviously not the one I Well, you should have fucking specified, shouldn't you? His quest for nourishment completed, the Collie awaits the spoils of his efforts so that he may continue his active lifestyle. While the other animals have adapted to the harsh environments with physical adaptations which allow them to compete in the wild, the Salty Blue Collie has adapted in various different ways. The once lean and agile Collie form has become softer, thicker and more suited to a comfortable lifestyle. A dense coating of soft blue fur is the most striking feature of this particular doggo and has allowed for softer hugs and a cuter look. Something that certainly comes in useful online. An adaptation of the dew claw in the front paws has created a functional thumb-like appendage that allows the paws to work similarly to hands, rivaling them in dexterity for even the most complicated and important tasks, such as replaying Skyrim for the millionth time. Lacking the harsh textures of the fields and forests, the footpaws have lost their streamlined design and become far bigger and plushier, though this has become a slight disadvantage for the Collie as their sensitivity means sandals must be worn for outdoor expeditions, though paw rubs are obviously a welcome benefit. And the most important adaptation would be the brain and vocal range. A far more developed thinking process and capacity for consciousness brings the Collie level with its human companion and with the ability to fluently speak and process languages. It really is a marvel to hear the wise words of the Blue Collie. Ha! Get wrecked you little wank stain! You should have stayed out of my fucking way! You just got destroyed by a fucking dog! How, how does that make you feel? How does that make you feel, fucking ass? The weary Collie has exhausted himself with the day's trying events and he retires for some rest to prepare for the next day tomorrow. He fashions himself a very skillfully created sleeping place Okay, and okay. I know you've been watching Blue Planet and you've been on a bit of a David Attenborough binge. But I put up with it all fucking day now, okay? Enough's enough. I'm trying to have a snooze. Do you want to knock it on the head a bit? Something disturbs him. He's done alert for a potential threat nearby, or Tell maybe- you what, if you don't stop, I'm going to follow you to work, and I'm going to introduce myself to everybody there in the sweariest way possible. Okay? Do you understand? Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Yeah, that's what I thought. You annoying dick. Ugh. Nah. Thank you.